Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing this eye look for fall, especially since Thanksgiving is right around the corner. I thought this would be a great look that you guys can try out. So let's get started. First, I am priming my eyelids. This is really important if you want your eyeshadow to last and definitely not crease. Now I'm taking this um, eyeshadow base from NYX in the color skin tone and just applying it all over my lid so that way the eyeshadow has something to adhere to. And then here I'm taking pumpkin pie from Coastal Scents and applying it in small circular motions to my outer corner and then working my way down the crease. Um, I think I applied this shadow about three times uh, to get the intensity that I wanted. Here I'm taking Saddle from MAC with a smaller blending brush and applying it the same way that I did the pumpkin pie in small circular motions in my outer corner and then working my way down the crease. Next I'm going to take my favorite eyeshadow from MAC or at least my favorite gold eyeshadow from MAC, Woodwinked, and I'm applying it to my lid. Um, I love this color especially for fall um, just because it goes so well with um, anything that's warm tone. And then here I'm taking saddle and just reapplying it because sometimes when you apply shimmer, your matte shadows get a little lost. Now I am taking Barista from Coastal Scents. Um, this is a darker, um, deep reddish brown than saddle and applying it to my outer corner and halfway down my crease. And then here I'm using Pumpkin Pie to smooth out any rough edges. Now with a pencil brush, I'm going to take incognito and just apply it to that area in my crease just to deepen my outer corner. Now I'm going to take Barista with a blending brush and I'm going to smooth out and smoke out that outer corner. Um, sometimes if you take a lighter shade, um, you can use it to smoke out a black or a darker deeper shade. Um, it took me a while to do this, but I wanted to show you guys the process um, even though it is a little bit fast forward. but that's the outcome that I wanted to achieve. And then I just reapplied Woodwinked and I reapplied Saddle to my crease. And I used some more pumpkin pie to smooth everything out. And here I'm using Shamois Nude as my brow highlight. And then I'm just touching up the look, adding more Woodwinked, a little bit more Saddle. And now onto the gel eyeliner, which it's pretty self-explanatory. Now this is a, something I like to do, um, I feel like it makes my gel eyeliner last a lot longer. I like to set it with an eyeshadow. Um, and then here I thought I was recording me doing my wing and applying my other lash but I was not. Um, I don't know what's wrong with my camera lately but it just shuts off for no reason and it doesn't let me know. <laughs> just great. But anyways, um, so here I'm taking the small flat brush and using incognito to line my bottom lash line. And then next I'm going to be taking Barista with a pencil brush just to soften that black because it is a little bit harsh. Um, the whole idea is to have a smoky look. And then here I'm using Pumpkin Pie with a blending brush and I'm going to smoke out my bottom lashes. Um, here I'm taking this light champagne color from the 88 Shimmer Palette from BH Cosmetics. Um, I think this is the perfect shade to highlight your tear duct area. And then here I'm just covering up the glue on my lashes with um, the gel eyeliner. And then on to mascara. I put mascara on my bottom and top lashes. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing right there. And then here I felt like my outer corner wasn't dark enough, so I just added a little bit more Cognito, a little bit more Barista to soften it, and I used a little bit more Pumpkin Pie. And then here I'm just like smoothing it out with the blending brush. And that completes the look. I hope you guys really like this tutorial. I love how this came out. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. Any suggestions on more videos, please let me know. I love you guys and thank you for watching. Bye.